Hey everyone, I uh, just got back from the range. As you can see, my rifle has a few changes to it since I last posted my video. Um, I just got done shooting it. Um, the gun it handles very well. Not really good for range. It does have a little bit of a kick to it. Which, I mean, I'll have to get used to. It's my first time shooting a gun of this caliber. As you can see, I have a scope on here now. I went with a Nikon, it's a Monarch, it's a 2.5 by 10 by 42 millimeter. Um, I ended up having to go with, I went with medium scope rings, but the downside of going to medium scope rings is the factory cap that came on the back, the bolt wouldn't clear it. As you can see, it barely clears right now, so I had to go with an aftermarket rear, rear cap on it, so that would fit. Um, I like this gun so far. Only issues I've had is the bolt on it. Whenever I put a shell in there, the bolt has been really tight to lock down, which it is a new gun, and it's never been shot, so it's expected to happen. Um, I just leave the bipod on there right now for looks, and so y'all can see the gun, how it sits standing up. But all in all, the gun is very accurate, very consistent on the shots. Just trying to handle the recoil kind of makes you kind of kind of hard. It's kind of hard to anticipate it sometimes. Um, the reason I went with this Monarch is because, I mean, it's hell quarter of the price of a Leopold and it works just as well um, another thing about this gun is I like how Remington went with the front hand grips right here rubber they really help you hold on to the gun and back here at the rear um, only thing I suggest is if you're going to the range and you're not used to shooting guns of this caliber is to get a recoil pad because I only shot a, probably about six shots out of it today and I'm a little sore. But all in all, it's a great gun, great buy. I would recommend it. So, any more questions, just comment on my page and I'll be happy to answer. You all have a good day.